force. How the motion is imparted to any object by push or pull. A push or a pull on an object is called a force. When does a force come into play? A force arises due to the interaction between two objects. Suppose a man is standing behind a car. Will the car move due to his presence? No. The man has to push the car to make it move. An interaction of one object results in a force between two objects. Sometimes, force applied on any object by one person is not sufficient to move it. Then, what will you do? Take help of others and you are able to move the object. Forces applied on an object in the same direction add to one another. If the two forces act in opposite directions on an object, the net force acting on it, it is the difference between the two forces. And the object moves in the opposite direction from where the force is applied if it is a push and if it is a pull like in a tug of war the rope will go in the direction where the pull is more so force depends on strength which is expressed by its magnitude and the direction in which force acts if the direction or magnitude of the applied force changes, its effect also changes. Effects of force What happens when a force acts on an object? A force applied on an object may change its speed. If the force applied on the object is in the direction of its motion, the speed of the object increases. If the force is applied in the direction opposite to the direction of motion, it decreases the speed of the object. Force applied on any object may change the direction of motion. Can force bring any other change? Yes, force can change the shape of an object. So, we can summarize that force can bring change in state of motion, change in object speed, change in object's direction, and change in the shape of the object. contact force muscular there are two types of forces contact forces and non-contact forces a force that can act on an object when it is in contact with the object is called contact force examples are muscular force and friction. Muscular force. The force resulting due to the action of muscles is known as muscular force. Since muscular force can be applied only when it is in contact with an object, it is called contact force. Friction. A ball rolling around the ground gradually slows down 
and finally comes to rest, though no force appears to be acting on the objects. How? No force appears to be acting on the objects, yet the speed of the ball gradually decreases and then comes to rest after some time. In fact, there is a force responsible for changing the state of motion of the object and that is friction. What is friction? The force between the surface of the ball and the ground that brings the moving ball to rest is the force of friction. As the force of friction arises due to contact between surfaces, it is a contact force. The force of friction always acts on all moving objects. Its direction is always opposite to the direction of motion. Non-contact forces The force that comes into play even when the bodies are not in contact is known as non-contact force. Examples of non-contact force are magnetic force, electrostatic force, Gravitational force. Magnetic force. The force exerted by a magnet is called magnetic force. Like poles repel each other and unlike poles attract each other. A magnet can exert a force on another magnet without being in contact with it. Electrostatic force When two plastic straws rubbed with a piece of paper are brought near each other, they repel each other. And when only one straw rubbed with a piece of paper was brought near a straw that is not rubbed and suspended free, the two attract each other. The force exerted by a charged body on another charged body or uncharged body is known as electrostatic force. This force comes into play even when the bodies are not in contact and therefore it is an example of a non-contact force. Gravitational force If you throw a ball upwards, after a few seconds it will fall towards earth. Apple detached from the tree drops downwards. Why? Objects or things fall towards the earth because of the attractive pull of the earth. This pull is called force of gravity. Gravity is not a property of Earth alone. In fact, every object in the universe exerts a force on every other object. This force is known as gravitational force. This force comes into play even when the bodies are not in contact. Therefore, it is an example of non-contact force. Pressure What is pressure? 
Pressure is the force acting on a unit area of a surface. How do you fix a nail into wood? By applying pressure on the nail. Why a pointed nail fix easily? So the smaller the area, the larger the pressure on a surface for the same force. The area of a pointed end of the nail is much smaller than that of its head. The same force, therefore, produced a pressure sufficient to push the pointed end of the nail into the wooden plank. Therefore, a pointed nail fixes easily. For the same reason, tools meant for cutting and piercing always have sharp edges. Similarly, to reduce the pressure, the bags are provided with broad straps and not thin straps. Pressure exerted by liquids and gases. Yes, water exerts pressure and rubber sheets bulges out. Pressure exerted by water at the bottom of the container depends on the height of its column. More the height of the water column in the pipe, more the pressure exerted and more the rubber sheet bulge. Less the height of the water column in the pipe, less the pressure exerted and less the rubber bulge. This shows that liquid exerts pressure on the walls of the container. In fact, gases too exert pressure on the walls of their containers. When you press the sucker, most of the air between its up and the surface escapes out. The sucker sticks to the surface because of the atmospheric pressure acting on it. To pull the sucker off the surface, the applied force should be large enough to overcome the atmospheric pressure. If there is no air at all between the sucker and the surface, it will not be possible for any human being to pull the sucker off the surface. Atmospheric Pressure Atmospheric pressure is the weight of air in a column of unit area. The weight of air in a column of the height of the atmosphere and area 10 cm by 10 cm by 10 cm is as large as 1000 kg. Then why are we not crushed under weight? Because the pressure inside our body is also equal to the atmospheric pressure and cancels the pressure from outside.